Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Janlyn again. And I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world. And if you're new here, welcome. Here we do plenty things. If that interests you, consider in subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so that you're updated with my latest videos. So today's topic guys is I'm going to repot my philodendron mame. So look at this beautiful leaf guys. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm going to repot it to this lechusa pot. It's a self-watering pot and it's called Daltini. So this is how it looks like. I haven't used this before. Most of the time I use the cube 16 and I have one cube 14 and classical 28 for my monsteras. So this is my first time um, using this Deltini and like what I mentioned earlier, we're going to repot um, my philodendron mame. So it's currently in sphagnum moss at the moment. So it's going to transfer to pond. So let's do it guys. So guys, we're going to open the Deltini Lechusa pot first. And I have put my um, philodendron mame inside the house for the meantime because it's very windy here. It's been windy, rainy, everything except good weather um, for a while here in UK. So yeah, to protect my plant before it breaks the patio, uh, I put it inside the house first. And we're going to open the Daltini um, salt watering pot first. So. This is how it looks like when you buy them. When you buy it, it's inside the box and this is how it looks like. And then, so I already removed the side tape. And then like that, and then we'll remove this. And as you can see, um, it already have the substrate or the pond. So we'll remove the pond from inside. Have here. Um, the lechusa pond that we're going to be using um, as a medium for our philodendron mame. So, pond is an alternative for soil. So, you can use it as it, on its own or you can mix it with soil or you can mix it with other medium. So, for this time, I'm going to use it on its own and... Let me show you first what's inside um, the pot. As you can see there's a manual there, so we're going to take it out. It comes with the assembling instruction to guide you on how to assemble the Daltini Lechusa pot and how to pot and how to water after potting your plant. So this Deltini is so easy to assemble. You just need to insert this cup and this tubing. So I'll just remove it so that you can see. So there you go. It's already assembled unlike in other lechusa pots that you still have to attach the black part to the gray tubing. So in this um, Deltini, you just need to insert this cup here in this four groves here and let me just show you you just push it okay there you go and this deltini uh, is uh, six inches in diameter and 7.5 in um, inches in height so it can accommodate three to five inches nursery pots so as you can see there guys there's the wick there, um, that long rope, and it used the wick watering system so it absorbs the water from the reservoir. So this plant cover, uh, we use it as a reservoir as well. And it absorbs the water from the reservoir and the rope um, goes across the pot. And that's how we transport the water to the potting mix. 
So I forgot to mention earlier, so this tubing here is our water level indicator. So that's how we know if we have enough water in our reservoir. So as you can see there, there's a minimum and maximum level indicator. So let's talk about the lechisopon that we're going to be using as a substrate for my philodendron mame. So like I mentioned earlier, lechisopon is an alternative for soil. You can use it on its own or you can mix it with soil or any other medium. And this is how it looks like. So it's made up of pumice, lava rock, zeolites. So zeolites is... Um, porous material so it will help um, the water to be absorbed um, inside the potting mix from the reservoir and into your um, plants so and it have fertilizers as well so the fertilizer it can last to 6 to 12 months and after that uh, you can use any liquid fertilizer that you want and yeah, that's it basically. So we're going to start potting my um, philodendron mame. So as you can see guys, I already removed the philodendron mame from the sphagnum moss where it's been uh, for a while. And I don't have to remove the sphagnum moss completely unlike when you're repotting it in LECA that you have to completely remove the other substrate. But, but for the lechusa pond or for pond, um, even if there's something a little bit left on the roots, it's fine. So we can just um, put more pond at the bottom first before we put the plant. Alright guys, as you can see, I already put some pond inside the pot and I'm going to add more pond to cover the roots of my philodendron mame. Alright guys, I already put all the pond inside the pot and, and you can see there how it looks like and I've added an additional stick to um, help it stand and as you can see, it's very very windy here I don't want my philodendron mommy to suffer too much anymore from the wind or else the petrol might break so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, some moss as well at the um, base of the plant um, based from what I've um, seen in some YouTube videos, they said that it helps in um, allowing the grow point to have some new growth. So we're going to be adding um, some moss or sphagnum moss on the base of the plant. Alright guys, so this is how it looks like now. We're inside the house. Um, because it's very windy outside and I don't want the petiole of my philodendron mame to break um, while we're repotting it. So yeah, like what I've mentioned um, previously, um, I put um, sphagnum moss at the base of the plant to help the growth point have new growth. So as you can see there, we already have one new leaf coming soon. And... We're not going to put water in the reservoir yet. Uh, we're going to wait up to three months until the root system is stable. And the root syst um, system or the roots of the plant is long enough to absorb the water from the bottom of the pot. And we don't want the plant to be sitting on water um, the whole time. And it's just going to cause root rot. So yeah um that's it guys we're done i'm repotting my philodendron mame so um what do you think guys of this philodendron mame is it the plain philodendron mame or is it a silver cloud because as you can see it's like there are more um silvering on the leaf silver pattern on the leaf so just put your comment below uh, what do you think? Is this is it just philodendron mame or is a philodendron mame silver cloud? And as you can see there on the right, that's my gloriosum. 
So, we're going to be repotting it next to our lechuza pot. So, I'll see you again soon in my next video. And thank you again for watching my video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And please, please help me reach um, 1,000 subscribers um, by July. So, it's already July 2021. So, my birthday is going to be at the end of the month. So, please, guys, thank you so much to all my subscribers and... For all my friends, my loyal subscribers who are commenting on my videos all the time. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I'll see you again soon on my next video. Happy gardening!